fun factoid, everybody. Uh, I was just told that we're going to be going towards where Oprah, Kevin Costner, and Jeff Bridges live. I didn't know that they lived in Santa Barbara, and I also didn't know that they lived so close together, but if you're mega famous and mega rich, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, we are in lovely Santa Barbara. This car is going to pull out. You stay right there. You may not be going as fast as you guys normally like, but I have to respect the individual who's leading the tour. Plus, I don't really know the area all that well anyway, and I'm just enjoying myself. And when have you really, like, let's be real, when have you watched a chain link video and seen me going balls to the wall? <laughs> like, yeah, I ride an R1, but I, I ride the R1. I don't ride a rocket ship. Like, I, man, I take it easy. I enjoy riding. I love riding, and I want to do it for as long as possible. So... In the right circumstances and conditions, I push it. Oh, you better believe I push it. And most of those circumstances and conditions are when it's legal. <laughs> but for now, for this, oh, come on, guys. This is wonderful. I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm the one riding. I'm the one recording. If you guys don't like it, don't watch. If you're looking for speed and adrenaline all the time, this that's definitely not me. I'm a, I'm a vlogging personality more so than I am a, a super sport, <laughs> like two races away from getting his license right. <laughs> Plus, I think I'm kind of too big anyway. Like, let's be real. When was the last time you saw on the winner's podium a dude who was six foot five, 270 pounds, like, yeah, I'd like to thank my sponsor. Uh, you know, I couldn't have done it without him. Coming through that third turn, you know, Marquez was right behind me, but I just, I just, I held on to it. You know, I, I knew he was going to break a little late, so I also had to break late. You don't, you don't see that, right? Like, all the super sport riders who win, at least, are like, they're all very similar in build and stature, and I guess just genetically, I wasn't invited to that club. <laughs> And I'm not mad about that, not one bit. Because there's a lot of people who wish that they were in this club. You know, as Driz says, the Ogres Club. Yeah. So, shout out to all the big, heavy set, six foot, like whatever, like tall, too big for bikes, but doing it anyway, because we don't care. Proud of each and every one of you. You know, keep riding, fellas. All right. Man, what's up everybody? This is beautiful. I think we're still in Santa Barbara-ish area. I don't know what town this is, but it's dry, it's barren, there's no one on the road, and the road turns left and right like crazy. Lake Casitas. If anyone knows where that is, that's where I am. I'm just passing the sign for the recreation area of Lake Casitas. For somewhere to be called Lake Casitas, I sure don't see any damn water. California problems. That drought though. Oh, there it is. Damn! That's barely big enough to call a swimming pool, let alone a lake. It is so dry in California. I'm gonna help conserve water by no longer bathing every day. <laughs> You're welcome, California. I'm willing to do that for you. <laughs> I will only flush my toilet when I hit number two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if it ever comes down to that, I'm moving. It's plain and simple. I will help the drought by not being here anymore. <laughs> I'll move one state over where their, their irrigation system is not a problem. I find it funny that I always seem to find myself attracted to women who then tell me that their dads are big into motorcycles. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's cool with me. What I love about being 6'5 on a motorcycle is it doesn't matter per se, like my technique. I noticed that <laughs> when I was riding up to Santa Barbara last night, just for fun, I was like, you know what? I'm going to tuck. I'm going to be all aerodynamic. I'm going to see if it makes a great difference. And I'm still a bear on a bike, no matter what I do. Like, I can tuck it all in, I can hang up however I want to ride. It, it's like, it's not even noticeably different. <laughs> or maybe just my technique is so bad that it doesn't matter what I think I'm doing because it's still wrong. <laughs> it could be either of the two. Oh, shit, wow. I'm gonna have to get me one of them comfortable bikes. One of those standards and cruisers. I'm flying, Jack. 
I'm flying! <laughs> It is a beautiful day for a ride though. Holy shit, if you don't own a motorcycle, go get one and experience this, I swear. No amount of convertible will ever compare to being on a motorcycle on this road today. Even if I was in like a Lamborghini convertible, I'd be like, I mean, that's a really nice Lamborghini convertible, I must say, but that R1 though. <laughs> that R1 though, <laughs> what about that R1 though? What's also cool about being tall on a bike is I can knee drag from a sitting position. <laughs> I'll just let you guys figure that out. <laughs> like, why do you have to lean over to put your knee on the ground? I can do that from just a straight up vertical. <laughs> Shit, if I don't tuck, I'm knee dragging. <laughs> oh man.